Tip was one of the guys who made everyone look at the South different. Yeah, yeah, Him, definitely. Luda, Field Mob, Outcast, Jeezy, Out, Outcast, of course, Jeezy. Cell Therapy Jeezy. Boys, Jeezy. Yeah, oh, Goody Mob for sure. Goody Mob, I, I say Jeezy was the was really the one that. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I got to say, I well, gotta say, Jeezy nah. played his part, but more you saw more cats wanted to be like you know, how, like a lot of folks wanted to be like, what makes an artist that artist when got you on a wall as a post and want to be like, yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear my hat like that. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm going to dress like that right there. Right. I went through my LL stage. I used to rap a little bit. I got bars. <laughs> I feel like it. And, but I used to have rappers on my wall. You know what I can say? You know, it wasn't no weird shit back yeah. then to have yeah. your favorite, you know, slick Rick posts right. or whatever. Right. So mm-hmm. I wanted to be like LL. Hey, I had Kangos and everything. You might see me on a few old school album covers. You'd be like, oh, two was on his LL. <laughs> you right. know? Yeah, so my dress code and everything. And I saw a lot of cats wanting to be like Tip yeah, and right. like T.I. And then uh, at the same time, when he was on stage, I'm watching these girls go crazy. And the last time I saw women scream like that was for LL. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I got a superstar right here, bro. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And once I saw it, how he covered the South, and then we started doing shows everywhere else, I'm like, oh, okay, this ain't just no Southern right. mm-hmm. This dude got something for real, you know? So how, when, when he popped up with Rubber Band Man, Oh yeah, and yeah. Puff was in the video. It was like the ultimate yeah. cosign. And see, mm-hmm. and that's when the um, and that that and from Puff being that on that connect because before we signed with Atlantic, yeah, Puff was definitely just trying to sign the bad boy. Mm-hmm. Puff, had, uh, I think, going into the year two thousand two or three, Puff sent us a tour bus and we came and brought the New Year's in in Miami with him. And that was like his way of like, all right, let me let y'all know how serious I am. Right. And I tell you, your whole crew, man, I'm gonna send the bus for y'all. And yeah, we kicked it. It was yeah. it was. Incredible, yeah. but uh, he decided to go with Atlantic though. Wow. But Puff still like you know I f- with you, so he came to the video. Yeah, that played a major part. Yeah, nice. He showed up. Is yeah, that man. Banner's beat? Say it again. Band, man. That yeah, yeah, that's David Banner. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to David Banner. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy. That was yeah. a, that was a blast. Oh yeah. You still have? Uh, we'll we'll get into that later because <laughs> that's gonna be a whole big conversation. We so no. Yeah, he's that. he's rushing through this stuff. Yeah, oh my bad. How are you doing? Because for him, he's, he's done it already. So he's just. <laughs> I mean, what you know, mean? when you talk about, you know, T.I. big <laughs> records, can we, can we get to how they were created? Which ones? Pick one, because you got all of them. Well, all right, let's say. Um, sort of rubber band, man. You got the rest. Well, let me see. When you think of uh, the ones that really, like I say, the I'm Serious album, I didn't have any, like, singles off that one mm-hmm. until Dope Boys in the Trap, but we never did get a video for that mm-hmm. because by that time we was off the label. So we did our own little independent video. I don't mm-hmm. know if y'all pulled it up. I was acting like L.A. Reed or whatnot because <laughs> I was playing as L.A. Reed in the video type. Right. And it was like Tip calling him saying, hey, man, you know, I'm ready to get off the label type. So we did like a little whole reenactment of it. But when he really got noticed um, and we was putting mixtapes out. And so Dope Boys in the Trap, like I say, was the leading record. But the In the Streets mixtape was a song, 24s. Mm-hmm. That was a beat. I was yeah. cutting hair mm-hmm. every day. So that was the first song I heard from Tip. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I had, so early I got up that morning, created that track. And then, you know, uh, as a producer, you know, you had that one track that you're working on, you just let that play all day for like four hours. Right. You go right. get something to eat and come back right. and listen to it. Again, yeah. walk on this side of the house. Oh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Still yeah. jam. Outside the door. Yeah, closing. yeah. Hell yeah. You just keep listening to it. It was the yeah, track of the day. Right. Yeah. And so he came to get a haircut, got him in the chair. He was like, man, Charlie, that shit, that hard. Because he was still cutting hair. Yeah, I was still cutting hair then. Yeah. Mm. I just cut him the whole PSC. I keep everybody faded up. Right. And so uh, he was like, Charlie, that shit hard. So he couldn't even keep his hands still because he was bobbing. I was like, hey, man, let me just stop that shit. I said, I'm going to play it when I'm getting back to your lineup. But right, right. now on his fade, you know. Right. And so, um, by the time I was lining his shit up and finished the haircut, he was like, man, I got a whole song in that shit. He was making a song oh. in his hair while I was cutting his hair. Right. He said, mm-hmm. man, please, man, don't even play that shit for nobody else. Hmm. Dun, 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 oh, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I mean, the whole breakdown and everything. Right. It was like, almost, I, you know how you make shit in a song mode, so you're just going to let it loop. Right. You know, so the breakdown and everything. So he just, he fell in love with that shit. He had the song written. And uh, once we went to the studio, laid it down, put it on the mixtape. Radio station was giving us crazy support. Even with being unsigned, they were still playing our shit. Mm-hmm. Man. Who, was the, who was the top DJ at the time in Atlanta? Yeah, Greg Street. Street. Yeah. yeah, Greg Street definitely shows some love. Shout, Shout out, out. that's my dog. Yeah, Street. Street! And um, 
yeah, he ran that shit, man. And um, next thing you know, the, that's when the Atlantic saw the traction that we was making with that song. Mm -hmm. And that's when he was like, hey, you know what? We ready to sign y'all right now. Whatever numbers y'all were talking about, we, we willing to do that. Matter of fact, let's do a video as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. shit, man, they came and after the deal, I, shit, they came with a real budget, man. We had to done the video and everything. How much? How much was that contract? That deal was worth about yeah, about two or three mil. You mm -hmm. know, two or three mil. Yeah, but you had to you had to bring the attention to yourselves. First yes, on yes, your own. yes. We definitely had to get pay the attention, buzz going. fellas. That's, that's <laughs> I had to get the buzz going. <laughs> yeah, right. for sure. And um. And we were kind of like, it wasn't really too many people doing mixtapes in Atlanta around that time either. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We came up here and caught Vapors on that shit. And we, I think when when they went to Texas and they saw how the screwed up click was moving around down there. With like Slim Thug in there. Right. Yeah, right. It was millionaires off that shit. And so that's when he brought that whole energy. And he was like, Tuma, let's just get all these hot ass beats and just put these shits out. I didn't understand that shit at first. Right. But, you know, mixtape, I'm thinking... Mixtape, like mixing and shit, yeah, DJ yeah, and scratching. DJ, right, yeah. I know that's what I used to do. Right. But he was like, no. And then, then when they start playing, um, I think I was listening to uh, what Children of the Corn and mm. Ron G and all them. And oh, I was like, oh, okay, that's the wow. type mixtape you're talking, talking about. about. Okay. Yeah, this is before so, you hooked up with drama, right? Right, yeah. right, right. In the streets, yeah, that was just shit we were putting out. You know, getting them printed up, had a little artwork with everybody on the cover or whatnot. Oh, that shit. It, it, the magic was. Everything aligned the way it was supposed to go, man. It made a lot of sense. Before, just to go back a quick second, when mm -hmm. you're on the face, mm -hmm. KP leaves. Mm -hmm. You're getting no support. Right. What was that? What were those talks like? When did you realize that no one was going to move for you at all? Because looking back on it now, it feels like somebody should be fired. Shit, yeah, when Jason couldn't get nobody on the phone. Man. Yeah, it was like, man, let's just go up there. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. We just made that drive. And that's when... Um, LA sat with us, and then like when I, he left and went to lunch, and we was talking to uh, Mark Pitts, mm -hmm. and that's when uh, Mark was like, "Hey man, you gonna you know, he gonna let you off the contract?" Because at first, you know, our main thing was like, "Man, don't just come on, don't just hold us up, man. We trying to move forward. You see what's happening? What was facing? What 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 did LA what was say? the issue? Yeah, what well, LA was issue? about to see. LA was Is about it the whole regime change thing. Man? That that whole thing, yeah. Because just think. Uh, that's see, crazy. honestly, man, and I asked LA. Um, one time, and uh, I said, hey, man, why did you sell the face, man? Why did you? Right. He said, he said Prince told him, man, that was the uh, worst thing he could have done, man. Worst. He said Prince cussed him out real bad about that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I asked him, mm -hmm. um, I asked him straight up, like, dude, what happened? You know, he was just like, man, it's just, just a deal he couldn't deny. And I'm like, man, if you would have kept that shit going in Atlanta, don't you know? Like, come on, you was winning back to back. Everything mm -hmm. came out of the face was fire. Yeah, and you know he, he I mean? couldn't give you a real answer as to why he sold it. Couldn't get a real, yeah. Of course, you know he, he wasn't gonna tell me all the business, the background part, but he just said, yeah, right. he, he regret that shit. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.